What's going on guys, this is Raul here and today we're going to hit on the Disabled Veterans Property Tax Exemption. When I saw the break of day, I wished that I could fly away, instead of kneeling in the sand, catching... There's a lot of different things that's going on and even myself included when I first purchased my home, tried to, uh, tried to decipher the code of what exactly am I getting or do I have to pay for property taxes being a certain percentage uh, disability. Well, in this video, we're gonna just break down the simplicity of it and just to give you guys something to go off. But when it comes down to you actually applying, you wanna get all the details and the specifics on it from your appraisal district. Now, if you are between 10 and 90% disabled, there is a chart that you're gonna to have to go off and it's basically gonna tell you how much uh, dollar amount is exempt from uh, property taxes. So when you look at say 70% disabled, it goes to uh, $12,000. So what they're gonna do is take the assessed value of that property and say, for example, if it's $200,000, they're gonna deduct the 12,000 from the top value and only tax you on 188,000. Get it? That's pretty much what it all boils down to. Now it gets a little bit more, I'll say complicated when you are at a 100% disabled because you don't pay any uh, property taxes associated with the value of your home. There are some type of taxes out there like school and a couple other things that you will have to pay being 100%. Uh, but once again, that'll be something that you will uh, definitely get from your uh, tax assessors. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or just reach me at uh, info at radiofrontrealestate.com and I look forward to the next video. Thanks. Okay.